Look at that track. Never looks as steep on the camera. But look where that's brought it. We're at Flea Creek Campground. And you can't put up a fight in the mist light. Well, good day, everybody. Steve from Mud Ducks Touring Australia. We have another spotlight on campgrounds. Today finds us in the Brindabella Ranges. We're at a place called Flea Creek Campground. So we had to drive down a pretty steep hill to get here. The name of the track I can't think of off the top of my head, but it comes from Gentle Annie's Road, which is a fairly major road that we used to gravel, but major to get here from uh, Western Creek, a suburb at the outskirts of Canberra. Now I'll give you a look at it, because you don't look at my mug all the time. So, it's got all the usual things that you'd expect from a campground of this nature. It's in a national park, so you have to book it. So, you expect that, national parks for these six bucks or something to book, you know, you know what it's like these days. Anyway, because I start up on the hill, first thing we've got is we've got an amenities. The amenities is a pit, as you'd expect out here. Nobody in there, cool. So it's just the usual stuff. And this one has a reasonable amount of toilet roll supplied at the present time. So that's cool. Not a lot more to show you about that, it's a toilet, guys. It's a nice, easy going path from the toilet down to the camping. But we're more, we'll get to the camping. We'll go down via the road and show you that. Now there's a little turning slash parking bay here, which I'm guessing is for when you are driving through and not camping here, gives you somewhere to park for the, uh, use the facilities, that's nice. It's a pretty straightforward road. It's just a little bit sort of heavy duty in its angle. Oh, here we go. There you go, it's still gentle Annie trail. There's the sign there for it. Gentle Annie trail. So the road must change names where we turned. Anyway, what can you do here? Well, there's that little creek, which is nice. So you can, it's not very deep. So swimming in it might not be very advisable, but uh, you can swim in it, but yeah, you're not going to jump in. That's what I was really trying to say. You can certainly get in there and cool yourself down. Now the camping area here says it's off to our right. So there's your sign. And this road continues. So if you go down this way, that road keeps going. I'm not sure where it goes to, to be honest. But it goes somewhere. And we've got like a turning circle area here. And I reckon if you've got a small footprint, you, should, you could probably camp in here. Because there is a fire pit over there. There's a guy there on a bike who I won't bother, so I'll stay over here. Don't want to bother 
other people too much. The hearts that you're juggling. And we will continue on our way around into the rest of the campground. So if you drive around that turning circle there, rather than take the shortcut, you get down here. So I'll give you a look at this creek. It's down at this end is where it's deeper apparently. It's a nice little creek. So I'll give you a look up it. So we're here in spring, getting close to summer, but it's still spring. So as you can probably tell, it's not very deep. But it is a nice little place, like it's deep enough just in front of me there that you could get in there and fairly immerse yourself. But here's a lot of just little rapids and things up there. It's pretty nice. And as I walk back up the bank, try not to go us up, not to walk into the thistles or the stinging nettles, that'd be good. So I think you probably can camp around this side. Even though a sign pointed down that way, because we're approaching another fire pit here, and now this obviously, surely you can camp there. So yeah, he can do that. Now I'll shortcut. So that's about two camps I've seen so far, I reckon. I'll shortcut between this one and the next one rather than go to the road, but to show you the road, there it is. So that's the shortcut way, which is the way we turned in. Now, as we're in a national park, of course, guys, firewood collection is prohibited, but having a fire is fine, obviously, because there's another fire pit there. Excuse my shadow, guys. So that's two or three, that's three, I think. So that's okay. Then you're on this main track. Now, all the campgrounds from here uh, to the left of the roadway next to the creek. Now, here's another site here. So that has enough room for two groups easy, because the people I'm camp with are there, that's my camp, and then that's just one site. And then you go to the next site, so that's probably site three, site four. You've got the same kind of amount of room here where Adam and Kath are camped, so plenty of room there. This one here, which is another site, We've chosen, in our case, to use as our communal fire area for this evening. So we've booked all the sites we need, but Tony and myself have parked on the one site to give us that space there for a fire. There's another site here. So, we squeeze in there. So there's certainly enough sites. As I said, National Park, so you do have to book it. But it's pretty good. So you've got Wall and Lou camping in there. I know these people, so instead of me saying I don't want to disturb them, I can disturb all these ones because they're disturbed enough already. I don't know what you would do there other than just to turn around. And here, coming down this way, is another little camp with a fire pit. And that's pretty well bringing us to the end of where you can camp here. Because after that, we've got rocks and just a path into the bush and more of this little creek. So, it's, it's definitely pretty and the sounds it makes, of course, like all these creeks. Sound good? Just had the crap scared out of you by a little lizard. You wouldn't have seen him. 
to you just jump between those two logs. I'll show you down this river just a little bit more. I'm standing on those same two logs now, so. I'll go out a limb for you guys, try and get your shots. Anyway, that's a nice little creek there. It's a nice little rapid just down here. That looks pretty nice. So yeah, it's a nice little area. Down here at Flea Creek, there's a day use area as well as where we camped. Lots of parking, quite a bit of it. And then there's a very expensive looking, relatively newly constructed bridge. There's a water crossing to drive through. So that's cool. I'm gonna walk across the bridge though because it's here. Why wouldn't I? So there's a creek coming from that way, which is not the same creek that's next to our camp. I don't think. Maybe it is, I don't know. Doesn't look like wood, but it looks like it's joined. Anyway, coming up around the footpath here, end of a day use area. And it's, uh, it's quite pleasant. Oh uh, no, I think I'm getting it now. I think the creek we just crossed is the same bit of Flea Creek coming from where we camped. But just I can hear some water raging. So there's a full on other river over here. So I don't know what that river is. But here we are, Brindabella National Park. Brindabella National Park is 21,000 hectares. The northern, it's the northern, Nua, learn to speak, is the northern most reserve in a chain of alpine protected areas stretching south of Victoria. There you go. So that's Flea Creek. We are here, apparently. So yeah, that's pretty cool. But the river down here is way bigger. It's really bigger than the part we camped up near. And as it's coming in from my left, and Flea Creek that we were on is coming in from my right. They must join somewhere. So, this is all day use picnic area. There's a fire pit on the ground here, so. Don't, I think I would have used a actual portable fire pit for that rather than scout the grass. But anyhow. So, there's some serious rapids down here, guys. I'll try and give you a look at them when I can. But uh, yeah, this is all part of exploring. I'll do this before I have too many drinks and forget what I'm up to for the night. Yeah, check this out though, it's raging. All right, how's that for some water? Pretty spooky. How do you get in here, guys? That's a hell rapid. That's upstream. Trying to keep you shaded a bit. Wow. Right. Got some water there. So, apologies for any fluctuations in the audio, guys. I, didn't realise I was going to find this. 
So I didn't bring the camera, but it's got my lapel mic on it. Well, the other one. So. Yeah, anyway, coming through this little passage here. And this would be the bottom end of the little creek that we're camped on. Before it joins that big one. Little foot crossing there, but I'm not going to cross. The end of the big raging torrent down there. Yeah, good. That's a nice little find. But yeah, that's uh, that's very really nice. It's a nice little spot. And this is back, just walking upstream a bit on our creek. It's not really our creek, but it's the same creek we're camping. Very professional adjusting, not really. Anyway, that is a specky bit of water. Wish Kaz could have come and seen this. Anyway, back to the regular part of Spotlight on Campgrounds. And at the moment, we've got it all to ourselves. Our whole group has it to ourselves. We're here on a Friday. We're still here tomorrow. Tomorrow night. And I go home on Sunday. The rest of the crew go home on Monday. But yeah, so that's uh, Flea Creek. It's not huge, but it's very nice. So if you're in the area, I would definitely um, give it a go. Like I said, I'm giving it a go already. So why shouldn't you guys come and have a look at it? It's certainly a nice spot. I don't know what other campgrounds I'll find while we're in the Brindabellas. There'd be more, but we'll see what we find as we go along. Yeah, anyway, that is about as much as I can tell you on Flea Creek Campground down the bottom of Gentle Annie's Trail. So uh, come and have a look at it when you get a chance. Anyway, that'll do me rabbiting on. So hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did like this video, put a like on it. It really helps the channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing. If you did subscribe, Click the notification bell, you'll know when a new clip comes out. And to be old hands as always, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch one of my clips. And if you're new here and you lasted this long, thanks for taking the time out of your day as well. Anyway, that'll do me. I stay in touch on social media. I don't do as much Facebook and Instagram as I should, but I do do a little bit. Have a look on the website. Website at the moment hasn't got very much merch on it. I've only got stickers at the present, but by the time of recording. But eventually I'll have patches, t-shirts. It's got a history about myself and Karen, what we do, how we got to the point we're at. Have a look. Tell me what you think. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. It's pretty well all I can tell you. So, uh, sorry if I'm looking away from the camera every now and then. I don't want to trip over anything. So, thanks again for watching. Uh, just get out there. Enjoy the bush. Enjoy the beach. Enjoy wherever you are. Just get out there. And uh, we will try to see you on the next one. All the best. Cheers from Steve and Kaz and Mud Ducks Touring Australia. See you soon. Wouldn't it be good if I pushed the button the right way? Thank you.